internets, I'm Michael and this is Two Can Play That Game with another Diaries of a Newbie YouTuber, this time for Monday the 11th of July. So, ah, where to start? Well, let's start with what I've done in the past week, my week in review. There were six videos. Uh, let's see, there were uh, reviews wise, there was Scape here from GDM Games. Um, a little hidden roll, um, kind of social deduction card manipulation game. Um, quite fun, quite enjoyable. Check out the review if you want to see more on that one. Uh, there was at the bottom here also from GDM Destroy BCN, which is kind of almost an abstract strategy, but with this theme coming through, your monsters destroying Barcelona, your monster is represented however by a dice, that dictates how you work for attacking and moving etc, and the way they move is the dice rolls along the ground, so it's quite interesting, quite different, you might want to have a look at that. And then the final review I did was for these wooden components here, not an actual game but an accessory, legendary dice throwers. So they are basically catapults, they throw dice, they're an alternative to using um, dice towers or that sort of thing. You know, if you're interested, do take a look at that video, I've got plenty of shots of it in action. Uh, it's pretty cool. So, what else was there? Uh, I did a first impressions video for Tatsu, a game from the designer of Hive, which is published by Gen42 and it's an abstract strategy game but with some luck involved kind of a ludo-esque send your opponent back but special powers for the different types if you're interested in more do take a look at that and then the final videos i did i did two videos for waggle dance here and it was actually a live recording of when i taught my wife how to play the game. So you can watch the first video that will tell you how to play the game and also start our game that we played. And then the second video will show you how the game all finished up and who won. Okay, so that was it for videos. Um, then I actually had more games arrive this past week than uh, I would normally have in the space of a month. Um, and more than I've managed to cover video-wise this week. There were eight games arrived, and the dice throwers also arrived. They don't really count, though. They're not a game. So, what did we have? We have Kill the King was the first one to turn up, a two-player um, asymmetrical strategy game. You'll be able to see more on that soon. Uh, there was also from Brain Games, uh, Ice Call, which won, uh, I think it was Best uh, Children's Game, or Best Family Game, um, at the Get UK Games Expo this year. Uh, you're flicking penguins around, it's very much a dexterity game. Um, haven't had a chance to get it open or try that yet. And also from Brain Games, there was Game of Trains, which won Best Card Game at the UK Games Expo this year. So, looking forward to trying that as well. Uh, what else was there? From Osprey Games, we have their August releases. I think they're releasing on the 23rd of August. We've got um, Agamemnon, uh, which is a, I believe, two-player game. Um, haven't had a chance to look into it much more than that yet. Um, it's kind of a warish game, I think, uh, set in some Greek war that I can't remember the name of. And then we also had uh, Let Them In Cake, obviously set during the French Revolution. It's to do with guillotines. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting this open because there's a 3D guillotine you assemble and stuff. So that's that's going to be pretty cool. Um, what else we got? We got uh, from Wild Giraffe Games, Super Hack. <clears throat> now, if this was any video other than the Diaries video, I would have to be doing a retake right now, and I'd be doing so well on mistakes so far this episode. Never mind, you know, that that's why I keep these Diaries... Let, let's move this out of the way. <laughs> that's why I keep these Diaries videos, you know, uncut, unscripted. I, d I just have notes here of things that I need to um, kind of talk about, the names of the games that are reviewed, etc., because I'm not going to remember it all otherwise. Uh, so, where was I? Um, Super Hack Override. Yeah, probably couldn't see it there. 
tucked away, little, tiny little card game. Um, it's very much uh, designed to be played anywhere. It's one of those keep all the cards in your hand type fit situations. And then what else was there? From Ludi Creations, we have uh, Kune v Lakia, um, which is this uh, little rabbits based, uh, I think it's card game, uh, two player deck builder. Um, I'm really keen on deck builders, so I'm looking forward to giving that a try. And then what else was there? The final one was these white boxes here, which is from Warco Card Game. So that was all the arrivals, quite a lot there, um, and obviously I'll be doing my best to get through them as quickly as possible while ensuring that I do not skimp on the quality of the reviews or videos that I'm doing and also making sure that I get plenty of plays of them. Um, speaking of which, I had a fantastic weekend um, playing lots of games, so that's, that's always a good bonus. And I can say that I'm working! Uh, okay, so let's uh, move on then to the uh, stats, you know, where we are at this point. So Facebook, we've got the page up for 24 weeks, and the number of likes we have is 1,374. So this is up slightly um, in growth-wise compared to last week. Then Twitter, we've got 27 weeks, and uh, number of followers is 6,879. A uh, big increase compared to last week. Um, and yeah, again, you know, it's still growth, so good there. Facebook, uh, we are at 29 weeks on Facebook. And the number of views is 39,000. 766. So I did hit my target this week. Uh, last week I fell slightly short. This week I literally just hit it, which is uh, 2k views in one week. So uh, then subs, we've got 1764 subs currently, which is a much better <laughs> increase compared to last week. Uh, still not where I'd like to see it, but you know, it's going up. That's important. We're still growing. So why do I think the figures are here? What's, what kind of things have affected it? Well, last week, as I said, I think um, Origins and all the videos coming out from the Dice Tower for Origins was having a negative impact on views. Obviously this week there hasn't been that um, because Dice Tower Con has been going on, so they've all been there recording videos rather than pushing out videos. So there's probably going to be next week another very slow week as they put all their Dice Tower Con videos up. But also, obviously, people going to Dice Calcom wouldn't have been watching. So that would create a bit of a slowdown, but maybe not as much. So I think that's why it's slightly better, um, but not as good as it maybe could be or I'd want it to be. Also, again, it's been a week with no real major videos. I mean, the video that's done best this week, um, out of all the videos, not just the ones I did this week, was for these dice throwers. I mean... That had so much sharing going on on Facebook and stuff, you know, people were really excited to see it. The actual little clip I put up on Facebook, um, which was a new thing I thought to try, you know, have a video rather than um, just a picture or whatever, uh, has been viewed, I think, 4,000 times now. So, that, I mean, that's really good. Um, the, my video, unfortunately, on YouTube has not had that as views. It'd be fantastic if it had, really fantastic. Um, but it's an exciting, different product, and I think that's why it's drawing people in. And I'm the first one to be showing it, so that's good. Um, I just, I'm trying to remember when the Kickstarter... The Kickstarter's happening sometime this month, I think. Um, so if you are interested in these dice throwers, you know, you'll be able to check that out. Uh, what other videos? Well, Scythe and Pandemic. My first impressions of those are still getting views. They're doing pretty well. Um, also, they're also getting a lot of dislikes and putting people off the channel because people wanted a full review and despite me saying this is just my first impressions, um, people are not happy with the fact that I've done first impressions and the fact that they're not happy about how I've talked about the games. Um, but hey, you know, um, I'm not going to please everyone. Sometimes I'm going to have an opinion that's different to the majority as well. Um, hopefully people won't be forever put off. Uh, then what else we got? Um, oh, surprise one that's been doing well this week is uh, from Osprey Games, um, The Ravens of Fry Sahashri. I don't know why the videos have been doing really well on that this week. Um, they've had, 
you know, I, I say really well, they've been doing better than normal. Um, I'm not sure what the cause is, but I'm really pleased to see that. Um, pleased to see Osprey games, you know, people being interested in their games. So, what else was there? Uh, Temple Worker Assassins was another one that's kind of a didn't expect. Um, Kickstarter's been going for quite a while now, and I haven't really been getting that many views from that. And then this week I suddenly had a bump. Um, so hopefully that means their Kickstarter's going well and will do well. And then of course there's the usual Evergreens, which is, you know, Boss Monster 2 and, um, what's the other one? Oh, Super Dungeon Explore Forgotten King. They, they, those two just keep racking up views. They're just getting caught on search engine hits and that's really helping me out with those, I think, is the key thing. So, I think that's uh, enough of my ramblings for one week. You know, if you want to help out with my figures at all and make me a happy person, then do do all the following, etc, etc. And, as always, thanks for watching, and bye for now.